because we care about people, we care about their welfare, we care about their safety, we care about their rights, we care about their flourishing, we don't just concern ourselves with religion. We're not trying to religionise people, we're trying to care for people. I hope we know that. Because of this care for all people, all people, whether they're Christians or not, by Christians, not just churchgoers, and I really want to stress this, we pray for our statewide community to experience that care, experience that provision, experience good health, and to have opportunities to flourish. When the, when the Premier asked us to pray for businesses and for our economy to recover, for us, that's, that's a deal. That's a deal. We want to be a part of that. And because the government are charged to do exactly the same, to protect, to uphold justice, to deliver needed infrastructure and facilitate opportunities for its citizens to be able to flourish, we highly value the role of government. And Christina, that is at every level, local council, state and federal. Thus, when Christian leaders contribute to the public debate, it's not the church seeking to impose a religious point of view on society. Most of the time we do it because we, we want to we make sure that people and their welfare and their safety and their flourishing are, are paramount. It's not us trying to impose religion on a society. It comes from a heart of care. And when we heard the Premier say, people come first, the economy can wait, we're right there with him. Lockstep, right there with him. And our model for this was Jesus himself. When Jesus was asked this question about from Jewish zealots who said, but we shouldn't be doing what Rome says, Jesus said, give me a coin. Remember the story? Give me a coin. And Jesus said, whose image is on this coin? Caesar's, they said. Then give to Caesar what's due to Caesar. And render to God the things that are God's. The two work in harmony, not in conflict. And this is why I don't believe in separation of church and state the way some people describe it. I believe in cooperation of church and state. Not separation of church and state, as in we never talk to each other and we, we, don't, we don't want to know what you're doing and you don't want to know what we're doing. No, we are, we are all on the same page trying to achieve the same purpose. That is the welfare and the flourishing of people. Are you with me? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. For more information about our church, head over to lagana.org.